I love being a nurse. I wish I'd have done it 30, 40, 50 years ago. But I think I needed life lessons first. I like small towns. I like to know my neighbors. I like talking to people. I like being friends. And most of all, I like helping them. I grew up right here in Litchfield, Illinois. Got married, had two kids. That didn't work out, so I went to work. I worked at the local factory here for 30 years. It was break parts where I worked. I was uh, a... <laughs> First girl in the shop ever at that factory. And it was great, because it did pay to raise my kids. I did get my two kids raised. All of a sudden, I got them grown, and I thought my son had a sore throat or a sinus infection. And uh, he missed three days of work, so I told him he had to go to the doctor and get a slip. Beaton's a small town. Doctor calls me at work and said he needed me to come out there. <clears throat> and uh, they told my son he had leukemia. Of course, my first thought was, they're wrong, they're wrong. Can't be. I do remember Barnes Hospital. And when we first got there, I never cried, never was upset because, you know, I was tough. We were going to do this. But um, <laughs> my son decided that he had the toughest mom in the world. And he said, Mom, no matter what happens, don't cry. He said, don't cry in front of me because I can't take it. <laughs> For three years, we spent a lot of time there. And I never cried. Not in front of him. But there were several moments out in the hallway that his mom fell apart big time. <clears throat> but those nurses would pick me up off the floor out in the hallway. I couldn't cry in front of him, but <laughs> they seen a lot of it. They knew exactly what to say, and they not only helped him, but they helped me a lot. I probably wouldn't be here. He had taken so much chemo that they told him his body couldn't take much more. And they told him if they gave him chemo, even the lightest bit, that it probably shut his liver down. And his kidneys, and he goes, I'm not a quitter. Give it to me. Well, it did what they thought. and. Um, <clears throat> he made me promise to bring him home, so I did. That's when I met hospice for the first time. <laughs> I remember the hospice lady coming in the door because nobody told me she was coming. And I opened the door and she said, hi, I'm hospice, and I closed the door. <clears throat> I wasn't ready. Hospice meant that's it. John, my son, he did pass away. I remember kind of that day. Right after that, it probably wasn't two weeks, I got called in the office at work and they offered a layoff because the plant was shutting down. It's like, wow, when it rains, it pours. They told me they had to know later that day and I said, okay. And I walked into the HR office and said, I'm taking a layoff. I said, and I want the schooling. They said, okay, well, we have to put in for what you want to go to school for. I said, I want to be a nurse. I'm going to nursing school. And I think they thought I'd lost my marbles. But I thought to myself, if I could be anything, even half of what those nurses did for me at Barnes, I would be a good nurse. I remember when I passed the exit exam 
And I came out of, out of the room and my teacher was crying. I said, why are you crying? She said, I didn't think you'd make it. Of course, I was 53 and it's kind of old, but I said, are you kidding me? You didn't think I'd make it. Well, all I had was factory. I said, no, I had more than factory. I had a lot of life lessons that I didn't care to learn. I can ask somebody what medicine to give you, but it's what's in my heart for you that counts. Somebody told me I was a little off the rocker once, but I'm not. That's, that's where my heart is, taking care of people that, first of all, have got the worst news of their life, but I want to hold their hand when they're crossing that bridge to that gate. I want to be there with them. It's a scary thing to go through. I know, I've been there. <laughs> right now, I couldn't think of any other job that I want to do, except I have to be there for them. After what I've been through with my son, I believe that that taught me how to care, that I can't fix it. That was my number one lesson I had to learn. But I do believe that all of these things have made me a better hospice nurse. I love being a nurse, and it makes a world of difference if you love what you do. You just got to be there and build them up. I have to give them comfort and the family. That's what I love about my job. <laughs>